Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at uh, Sparky Linux. As you know, I am a big fan of Sparky. And uh, I saw on DistroWatch that they had a new release on their, for their minimal uh, download. And that's the 4.3 Dev 1. So I thought I'd take a look at that. Now, it's a very minimal install. It's based on Debian testing. Uh, it is a development release, so they are still uh, debugging. So you want to keep that in mind in case you decided to uh, give it a try. Uh, if you go to the Sparky Linux webpage, uh, and click on download you can see that they have basically four different categories they've got the home edition uh, then they've got the base the special and the testing now the home edition consists of uh, the latest stable release which is 4.2 they've got it in LXDE in uh, MATE XFCE KDE and LXQT. Now that is the uh, home edition. As far as the base edition goes, uh, basically that is a uh, Debian testing install, Sparky Linux, with no codecs. So if you wanted to download and basically build everything yourself, then uh, that would be the way to go. After that, they've got the special editions. They've got a gaming edition called Game Over. They've got the Rescue edition, which uh, is just what it says. It's, it's made for rescuing uh, systems with problems. And then you've got the Multimedia edition. Now, the Multimedia edition has some interest for me because I have been trying to do multi-track recording uh, in Linux and um, it, it is currently that's still an area that Linux uh, has a lot of work to do. Um, I can go into my Mac uh, and use GarageBand and basically get it done really easily, very intuitive. Everything is there laid out for you in such a way that but you can you can do it without even looking at the manual or looking at any help files, uh, and that's one thing about Mac OS. It is uh, geared towards multimedia uh, and artistic endeavors, but uh, Linux still has a little bit of work to do. That's why I'm going to take a look at multimedia at the multimedia edition <clears throat> so you'll probably see a review on that uh, and I'm gonna be looking at it strictly from a uh, multi-track recording for laying down multiple tracks for example yesterday I used GarageBand and I laid down um, multiple guitar tracks so I, I recorded a rhythm guitar track a lead guitar track uh, a drum track uh, and so I ended up with actually five tracks now you can do much more than that within um, digital multimedia digital uh, audio workstations and uh, Linux does have some digital audio workstations available haven't found any that is quite in, as intuitive as GarageBand but I'm still looking so I am going to be taking a look at the multimedia version. Uh, but what I have here is the minimal version. This is the basic version, the development release uh, that just came out recently. It's under testing and it is a minimal ISO. Now I have the uh, x86-64 and 926 megabytes now they have it available with a graphical user interface for the install or a command line I went with the graphical user interface 
I downloaded the 64-bit um, version and I installed it and that's what you see here it is very minimal uh, now the only thing that I installed is GUVC view and I installed uh, Kazam um, other than that it's basically straight out of the box the interesting thing is this has open box um, for a window manager and so recently I took a look at Packbang, which uses OpenBox. Um, this particular Sparky comes with the dynamic menu with icons already configured. Now, the menu is typical OpenBox, file manager, terminal, web browser, run command. For accessories, I didn't add anything. What you see here is what you get. File manager, screenshot, image viewer, leaf pad, nitrogen, Vim, X archiver. For graphics, image viewer, image magic, display, Q16. For multimedia, I installed GUVC view. Uh, there is a uh, mechanism to install the multimedia codecs, which I did. And I also updated the system to the latest um, update. Uh, I installed Kazam, Pulse Audio System Tray was there, Volume Control was there, and VLC comes prepackaged. For network, you have Ice Weasel as a browser. Office is a PDF viewer, and there's an, uh, an installer for Office Suite, which I have not uh, gone ahead and downloaded. Settings, Adobe Flash Player, Desktop Preferences, Firewall, Gparted, Ice T, keyboard and mouse, monitor, network, open box configuration manager, open JDK Java, print settings, screen saver, synaptic, system administration, tint to panel, that's the panel that you see at the bottom of the screen. For system, about Sparky Linux, uh, firewall, GDB, uh, let's see, LX terminal, there's a root terminal, uh, system upgrade shortcut, and advanced settings. Of course, you get into your Conkey, Tint2 panel, OB menu generator, which um, you can generate a, a pipe menu or static with or without icons. And then you've got your open box menu, restart, open box auto start. Open box RC, open box menu. You can uh, you can configure your auto start to to uh, start various programs when you boot your machine. And then you've got your exit, which has a menu: log out, suspend, hibernate, hybrid, suspend, reboot, power off, force power off. So. It's got pretty much uh, everything you need uh, for a beginning installation. Now, <clears throat> it's classified as a minimal installation, but it, uh, it, it was over 900 megabytes to download. So um, no, that's a little high for a minimal installation. But on the plus side, everything you need is there. It is Debian testing. I'm gonna take a look at the sources. So if we look at Synaptic, and we take a look at the sources, you can see that this should be set up for testing. And now you can see there are a lot of sources set up that are not enabled. But the ones that are enabled out of the box, of course, are the Sparky testing repos then you've got Debian testing including Deb multimedia now I haven't installed any um, Nvidia drivers yet or anything like that I don't expect any issues Debian is usually uh, pretty easy and so uh, I expect that uh, NVIDIA will be easy to install and configure. Uh, so if you take a look at 
Google is already added. You can just enable it so that you can download the latest Google Chrome. You can also install um, different kernels. There's Licorex, which um, for multimedia purposes, you can, you can uh, install a low latency kernel so that if you're doing multi-track recording multimedia, there's no latency issues when you're recording one track on top of another. Uh, and as far as hearing what you're playing as you're playing it without any delay. If there is latency, if there is a delay between what you're playing and what you're hearing, it, it of course becomes extremely confusing. And so you want no, zero delay. And so your, your, your kernel has to be configured for that as well as uh, you need to have the proper equipment. Uh, and this particular computer has what I need to be able to do multi-track recording. So I am going to test it out, not on this version, but on the multimedia version. So I'll be doing a review on that as it relates to multi-track recording. Play on Linux uh, is listed but not configured. And so you've got uh, a lot of repos that you could put a little check mark and download the packages that you want. So that is it for this uh, video, guys. This is the Sparky Linux, the latest development release. It is, is under their testing category, um, and it does utilize OpenBox. Now, as I said, it is dynamic, so if you add anything, it will add it automatically to your menu. If you look at multimedia, I added GUVC View and Kazam, and they showed in the menu immediately. Uh, along with the icons so that takes a little bit of the uh, hassle out of the install so if you're looking for a minimal install if you like Debian testing and if you like the open box window manager by all means give this a try and that's it for this video guys please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care